You guys ever heard that country song where it goes, chew tobacco, chew tobacco, chew tobacco, spit? I don't like that song. You know why, though? I think it puts a very false stereotype about uh, country boys. I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. How you guys get... Sorry. How you guys doing this morning? It's not morning. It's like 12 something. Had a bit of a late night last night, but you know. Um. <sighs> Sorry. We went to town late. Got back late. But you know, sometimes that's just how it is. Which is always okay. I'm telling you what, that's one of the main reasons why I love living in America. You can do what you want, when you want, and pretty much however, t whatever time you want. Well, I've wanted to shoot off fireworks before, and it'd be a, a weeknight, but, you know, I'll wait till about a Friday night to do that. <laughs> but, uh, anyhow... Back to the subject at, at hand here. Um, you know, there's a lot of songs, country songs, and non-country songs that I know of that talk about uh, using some kind of tobacco or drug for that matter. Talk about drinking, whether it be drinking beer, uh, drinking from the bottle, uh, I don't know if you have ever heard Wanted Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi. Yeah, that's one of my favorite songs, in case you can't tell. But By the bottle that you drink Sometimes when you're alone All you do is think But Now There's a couple songs that I know of. Zach Brown Band, just for instance. Where, um cold beer on a Friday night um no don't get me wrong it's a great song but I could just do without that part but um there's some songs that if you if you're not a country if you weren't grown up in the country raised in the country that a lot of people will assume that, oh, they're they're a country boy. They, they must drink like there's no tomorrow. Uh, and they must chew also. No. Assume nothing, question everything. I'm telling you, just because you grow up in the country does not mean you pick up drinking and chewing. It, it don't. I mean, that's just a stereotypical attribute that listening to those type of country songs and other songs for that matter have implanted that in some people's minds and it's it's false is what I'm trying to get at none of it's true now it might be true for some people but it's not true for the whole kit and caboodle. It's not true for everyone. But anyhow, that's, that's basically a little bit of my take on it. Um, if you, if you like these country boy misconception videos type things, hit subscribe. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Comment down below. Golly, I, there's something buzzing around me. I really don't want to get stung. Uh, I'm kind of proud of myself. I have not been stung for years. As a matter of fact, the last time I got stung, we were at a we were at a friend's house, which um my uh, aunt and uncle. You might have seen. In some of my other videos, that's where I interviewed Jatson at. That's where my 50 subscriber special was. You know, Jatson, my cousin, the football player. 
by the way if you haven't seen that video i suggest you go check it out it's it it, it to, to this day even though i've only been doing this for geez hang on let me think a minute Even though I've only been doing this for five months and a few weeks, um, that's probably one of my favorite, personally, that's one of my favorite videos that I've done. But um, comment down below your favorite type. Oh, shoot, sorry. I was about ready to end the video and I... Uh, Wanted to tell a short story about the last time I got stung, I believe. But we were outside just kind of helping them. And I got stung by a bumblebee kind of right in that area. There's like a, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's like a scratched area in there. I'm telling you what, anytime you get stung by something, even if it's a little fire ant or whatever, <laughs> Whatever the case may be, it scares you. I mean to tell you, it really does. Because you don't know if you're going to have some kind of allergic reaction to it, or if you're going to re, or if you're going to have it itch like crazy. It did itch like crazy. But you know, I've ran, I've rambled about that for a little bit. But anyhow, if you'd like to see more of these country boy misconceptions videos and uh, other cool outdoorsy based content uh hit that like hit that like button make sure you hit subscribe also and uh with that uh comment down below your favorite easter food i don't know if this really counts as easter food but i love my mom's mac and cheese i'm really hoping she don't try something new this coming easter but you know it might it might go over well you never know <laughs> With that, guys, take care.